Hello friends and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be talking about the ulnar nerve in the cubital tunnel. So this cubital tunnel is an osteofibrous tunnel which is located on the posterior medial aspect of the elbow joint and which has got the medial epicondyle, a portion of the humerus on one side and then the olecranon process of the ulna on the other side, right? Here, the roof is formed by the Osborne's retinaculum or the cubital retinaculum, and the floor is formed by the posterior band of the ulnar collateral ligament and the capsule of the elbow joint. The ulnar nerve, it passes inside this cubital tunnel, right? And later on, it passes between the two heads of the, uh, I should say, the aponeurosis, which is just joining the two heads of the flexor carpi ulnaris, that is the humeral head and the ulnar head. We do call it as the arcuate ligament and some people believe that this is nothing but this is just an extension of the Osborne's retinaculum. And let us see how exactly uh, the ulnar nerve looks like uh, inside the cubital tunnel and uh, how the ultrasound can help us in the dynamic examination of this ulnar nerve. Uh, so let us now uh, see the ulnar nerve in the cubital tunnel. So the volunteer is sitting across the table and shoulder is in forward flexion, elbow flexed. Um, I do not keep the elbow in 90 degree of flexion. I always keep it in the semi-plexed position, right? And then forearm is supinated and palm facing up. And I have asked the volunteer to lean on the epsilateral side, which I am examining. And we need to palpate the medial epicondyle and the olecranon process so that uh, the palpation becomes very easy if you keep a rolled sheet beneath the arm so that this side is up and when you will be putting your probe, it will be very easy for you to examine. Using a frequency of 20 megahertz, I have set a depth of uh, 2 centimeter and what I'm going to do is this... I'll just palpate on the medial side, one bony thing, and that will be the medial epicondyle. And on the back, again, a bony thing, that will be the olecranon process. So I'm going to keep my probe with the aspect marker over the medial epicondyle in such a manner that it will be bridging the medial epicondyle and the olecranon process. So now I'm just keeping my probe. over the medial epicondyle and the olecranon process. So I'm just freezing it here. So our aspect marker was over the medial epicondyle. So this is going to be the medial epicondyle and this is going to be the olecranon process and that is the joint line. Fine. Now what you are seeing here, that is the ulnar nerve. What you are seeing here, right? So that will be the posterior band of the ulnar collateral ligament, right? And something, a fibrillar kind of a thing which you are seeing here, that will be the cubital retinaculum. We were here, right? Okay. So from there, if I am moving down, I am moving down, you will be able to see that the two heads of FCU, they will start appearing, okay? One will be the humeral head and the other one will be the ulnar head. So that is the humeral one and this is the ulnar one. Now you will see that these two, they will be just combining, right? If I go down and something, this fibrillar structure, which is just connecting these two, we call it as arcuate ligament and or some says that this is nothing but this is just the extension of the cubital retinaculum. So now if I'm going to go down, if I'm going to go down, you will see that these two heads, they will just fuse and that is what you will be seeing here and that is the FCU in the short axis. So that is how you identify the ulnar nerve and uh, 
in the <clears throat> short axis in the cubital tunnel. So let us now see the uh, dynamic examination of the ulnar nerve in the cubital tunnel. And for that, uh, I'll make my patient lie down in the supine posture. And here also the shoulder will be in abduction. Um, elbow will be in a semi-flexed position, forearm supinated and palm facing up. And uh, this time also, I'll be just palpating the medial epicondyle and the olecranon process. And I'll be just keeping my probe uh, with the aspect marker over the medial epicondyle in such a manner that this footprint of my probe will be bridging these two bony things. So let us see how it looks like under ultrasound. Go back to the home position. Home position was when you are keeping the probe in such a manner as if it is bridging the medial epicondyle and the olecranon process. And you start then flexing uh, the elbow. Make sure that you fix your probe nicely so that it doesn't dance when you are just flexing the elbow joint. Let us see. So this was our home position. Okay. So what I'm going to do with the another hand, I'm simply flexing, simply flexing. Okay. And I could see that it is just remaining in close approximation with the medial epicondyle, right? So that is how you test it dynamically. And that is the beauty of ultrasound, you know, that you can go for the dynamic examination of the uh, nerves. Thank you so much for watching.